My entire life, I've loved diving. It's been a form of meditation for me, through the worst times and the best. I've grown up in Southern California, and I've gotten to explore so many remote dive sites where most people just never go. Diving alone always feels the most amazing for me. Just watching the waves overturn above and listening to the echoes and low rumbles you can always hear underwater. There was always one person I loved going diving with, though. My father. He first taught me how to dive when I was very young, and even though I'm only 25 now, I know for sure that one day I'll do the same for my son. Together my father and I would explore dangerous caves and even sometimes go into waters inhabited by sharks or highly aggressive squids. Yes, those exist. Hell, we were even attacked by a pretty damn vicious Humboldt once. I do remember one time when I was maybe uh, 10 years old and too young to dive. I was out on the boat with my dad at night, just watching the glistening water and listening to the sounds of the ocean at night. Sitting there, just me and my dad out on the water. <laughs> it was one of the most peaceful nights I can remember. And as we were sitting there, saying almost nothing and just looking at the stars, we heard a loud splash next to the boat. I immediately sprung up and looked over the stern my boyish mind jumping to monstrous conclusions already. My father laughed heartily. I asked him if there were ever sea monsters out at night. Real ones, like the giant squid that get 30 feet long, or those big sharks like the one in Jaws. He smiled and told me, with no condescension in his voice, Well, just sometimes, once in a blue moon, you'll see something extraordinary in the water at night. I still remember the way my father's eyes were twinkling in the dark that night. And to me, watching the rippling ocean at night with the full moon overhead casting light down from a nocturnal sky that seemed to go on forever, anything could be just beneath the surface. What I've learned now is that my father was absolutely right. It was only a year ago that, while diving in the Pacific Ocean late at night, I saw something extraordinary. My father has been diving less as he gets older, and that night he was staying topside on the boat, just enjoying the nighttime peace while I went down below. All I had on me that night was a fairly powerful flashlight as well as my diving knife holstered on my leg. At first, the night went about as expected. A few small sharks, several moray eels, and I even caught a glimpse of an octopus. It was still a beautiful experience by that point, being an interloper in this alien-like abyss. As I wandered my way through the murky waters, out of nowhere I felt an excruciating pain going diagonally across my torso. I ran my hands over my wetsuit and felt something I can only describe as gelatinous and thin on my chest. I wrapped my fingers around and pulled. This was a huge mistake. I was wearing gloves, but even through the wetsuit I could feel the burning pain in my hands. My screams rang in my ears as I trashed about, only to become more ensnared by this burning gelatinous matter. There was no time to left to try and do this the right way. I just reached for my knife, pulled it out of the holsters, and started thrashing it about, feeling the sharp steel blade cutting through the gelatin with ease. Then I caught a glimpse of the dismembered material sinking in the cylindrical beam of my flashlight. Jellyfish tentacles. I should have known. The burning had become truly unbearable by that point, and it was still all over me. I clawed my way up towards the surface, but I was passing out. Just before I went unconscious, I had the light fixed up towards the surface. And in that brief moment, I did see something extraordinary. It was a box jellyfish unlike any other I'd ever seen. This thing had to have been the size of a car. It was still a good 20 feet above me, so I can't even imagine how far its tentacles reached. That moment seemed to go on for an eternity. Me just floating upwards, barely propelled by the weak kicks I was giving. The slow breathing filled my senses. My light was fixed on the box jellyfish, surrounded by a rippling surface and a full moon beyond the water. I still remember that, through the moonlight, the jellyfish, just this massive organism, seemed to glow a ghostly blue. And in a way, it was beautiful. 
nothing I wish I had ever seen, and a sight that still haunts me to this very moment, yet at the same time, I was awestruck by it, and I couldn't help but feel entranced. My eyes fell shut just as I broke the surface. The next thing I knew, I was in a state of purgatory, I guess you could call it. Somewhere I could hear my father and his hysterical cries. I could hear the motor of the boat and I could distantly feel agonizing pain, almost like it belonged to someone else. And then when all had lain silent and I existed only in my own mind, in a state of darkness comparable only to the greatest depths of the ocean, I was a kid again, sitting on that boat at night with my father, the entire indigo horizon spread out before us. And I heard his comforting words again, just as I had back then. During these moments, I felt an inner peace I'd never known before. I woke up in the hospital, my father still by my side. The doctor said it was a miracle. I saw my entire torso as well as my arms covered in these red imprints after what must have been hours. That same night, once the doctors had left, I told my story to my father. I knew he would believe me. I don't go diving much at night anymore. However, maybe once a week, if the sky is clear, my father and I will go out to some quiet place on the Pacific and just watch the open sky. <laughs>